What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste. In the last episode, which was far, far too long ago, I think I was making my way up here. I can see some of these uh, things that I've already lit up, so I'd imagine my path was coming up here. And we were maybe even going to go further up, but I was about to get sidetracked by this heart. Heart. Why, why did I say heart? Um, strawberry. Oh, I thought that this little shadow up here was going to be something I could actually latch onto, but it looks like I'm going to have to go all the way to the left and then around in order to get that. I've got a couple keys, and why did I not, why did that not occur to me? It's kind of neat, there's like a little stairwell. Huh. So clearly, that's where I've got to go, but I don't really see myself getting there anytime soon. Is there something I'm missing, or... No. I don't think so. Alright, well, then in the meantime... I don't know. I'll briefly check out, like, this area. No. Up there, up there. Up there, no. Okay, then... I guess we'll come back. Oh, wait, no, we can go down here. Man, you guys are probably like, no, just... <laughs> Explore the ground better, not necessarily the ceiling. Oh, and now I'm back here. All right, we'll, we'll explore that in a moment. For now, though, I just want to check out what's going on over here. Let's light that up. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to want to do this. I have to dash out of those, not jump. My bad. Gotcha. Okay. Got a decent idea of what's going on. Crouch. And we've got that. So that's the first part. Now, gotta make our way back. And I'm fairly confident. I need to do something like, oh, I need to clip onto the left side of that block, fall down, and then we can go to the right, up. Okay. I feel like I've got a pretty decent idea of what to do. Okay. Strawberry obtained. What? Why do I keep missing that jump? It's probably because I'm a bit out of practice. And I got impatient there. Typical me things. Talk about some calming music, though. I, for some reason, thought I could dash downwards and then just walk off to the left, and I would like, or I'd walk off of the platform before it moved all the way to the right. Silly me, how how naive. But that's okay. That was just trying to walk off. Um, is there an easier way to do this? I honestly probably don't even need to try to do all of that. So let's just do this. No, no, not that. I'm sure if I just do this. Yeah, I'm totally fine. I didn't even need to mess around with that lower one. That's okay. All right, well, I guess we can't make our way back up, so we can only head down this way. So we open that up, which is nice. Is What's down here? Something... Am I supposed to... I don't remember. Did I, did I come from over here, or what? I don't remember, guys. I don't remember. This is not good. I feel like I might have. Aw, oh, darn. Well, we're gonna find out, right? We're gonna find out one way or another. At the very least, I don't think it's the most... What? Oh, that must have been just at the end. I don't think it's the most, you know, grueling platforming to make it make our way back up, should I have to. But I feel like there might be a strawberry down here. It feels like one of those areas. So, we will do our due diligence and uh, explore a bit. We haven't lit those up before, apparently. Ah, I see. 
Oh! So there's a lot going on there. I am really curious about what was to the right. And I feel like now, I'll never know. Alright, well, we definitely had not been there before. Now, I just need to remember where I'm bringing the key in the first place. I guess we'll find out soon enough, question mark? Oh, well, there's one. So, we'll, we'll take that. Oh, my! That's right, this thing. Oh, you're you're really coming after me there. All right, we're going to head back down this way because quite frankly, I really just want to see what was over to the right of that ball that we I don't know, came out of. Huh? Can I not go down there anymore? Well, I guess the world may never know. What is going on there? Okay, for the time being, I think we're doing all right. We need to get another key for that area. Jump on you. We'll probably use that to our advantage at some point, honestly. I guess we can light up the area. Let's bring you down over here. For now... I don't want to get too far, though, you know? I don't want to, like, miss something, potentially. Theo, thank God I found you! Yeah, you seem like you're kind of locked up in a, in a crystal at the moment, though. Madeline, wow, am I happy to see you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just been stuck in this crystal thing for ages. Do you get the feeling that this place knows you better than you know yourself? Yeah. I'm so embarrassed that you have to see this side of me. I tried to stop you. <laughs> I hope that selfie was worth it. <laughs> Selfies are always worth it, dude. Theo knows what's up. I shouldn't be mad. This isn't your fault. I'm glad you're safe, but you're trapped because of me. And now this temple is showing you what I'm really like. I'm horrible. But you're fighting back, Madeline, and that's what matters the most. Hey, we're in this together. Don't act like this is all on you. Very true. What do you mean? You didn't trap me in this crystal. Sure, those monsters are coming from you, but the temple is shaping itself around me, too. I can feel it. These eyes are staring at me, and this crystal is coming from me. I know it. I hate to ask, but I really need your help right now. Okay. I've got your back. Teamwork! Woo! I'll bust you out of that thing, then we'll escape together. Just as soon as I find my way around to you. Madeline, you're my only hope right now. It's like, uh... Leia sending the hologram message to Luke. Madeline, you're my only hope. I believe in you, for real. Thanks, Yuji. I hope that's not a mistake. Okay. Can't say I'm surprised by that outcome, but you know what, that's okay. I actually really appreciate, though, that the place is so much more well lit now. It makes a world of a difference when exploring around here. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, so we got the eye thing down there. Obviously need to get over there. Hello! I forget, those are like barriers that they can't go through, right? Alright, so we got a key down there. Alright, so we got some stuff going on over there. We obviously are going to need to... What's it called? go through that red barrier, I think, in order to actually get those. So, actually, you know what, maybe... Actually, no. Let's let's go down here and get these kind of goodies first. What's going on over here? Hmm, I'm gonna go over for this strawberry first. I feel like that's the... not story-progressive way to go about all this. So there's another locked door. I don't know why that's even really necessary to have one. Oh, well that explains that. We're gonna need to bust ourselves through there. 
Am I like kind of doing this in reverse? Because it certainly feels like it. Ah, so that's just kind of like a quick way to navigate around the room more so than something I actually like really need for a lot of these, I think. Oh my. We, uh, we really flew there. And there's definitely something down there! No! We're gonna have to come back. Okay. What's over this way? More friends. Oh, I tried to jump on him. Was not successful, obviously. Yet again. Too early, yet again. It's it's kind of weird how it like slows down as it gets closer. Oh, almost. There we go. <laughs> That's actually pretty great. I love that it kind of like traps him like that. Okay, so now we're gonna be boinging all over. I should have seen it coming. I was like, oh, this, why is that? Oh, there. That's not necessary. And then I was like, oh, of course it's not necessary. It's a trap. There we go. So now we can uh, go up here. We're going to get the second key. We can go back over. Yet again. Unlock that one door. Alright, that door is unlocked. However, we most certainly... No! I knew it was going to block me off! No! We most certainly had more to explore! Ugh, oh, that's really annoying. Why is the game blocking me off? I just know that it's going to be a hassle to come back for all the strawberries if I'm going to have to go through all of the level again to have those opportunities. Darn, that's that's really frustrating. I, I, I really dislike when games are like, oh, well, you better not progress the story because then you won't be able to get all the things. It just makes it so you have to play the game super cautiously and try to guess when, you know, the stories are going to progress or not. Regardless, we've got one of these things to bait up here. Alright, come on over, bud. Alright. Okay, so now let's see what's going on. I didn't think that it would... <laughs> I didn't think it would travel with the plants for some reason. That's pretty funny. Alright, we'll chill here, we can fall through, and we can get this key as well. The question is, what it, what is this key good for? I don't even, I don't even know. Clearly there's something else going on, oh wait, it's gotta be on this right side here, I'd imagine. Although... Well, that was a failed attempt. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so we got that strawberry at least. That's 99. I still don't really see... Maybe we take the key with us? After we, um, I don't know, dash through here or something? I guess we'll find out, right? I'm not really seeing the use for the key. 
I'm seeing the use for the key. <laughs> cool, so that nabs us that strawberry, and that should be strawberry number 100. Which is pretty neat. Oh my. So it's pretty clear how that is set up. Uh-oh, we are in not such a hot position right now. Okay, that works. We take those. Up we go. So you're going to be traveling after us. Cool. That works. Light up the area. Anything up here? No? Okay. Cool. And we'll continue over here. We have this barrier protecting us at the moment. And then, how are we going to want to do this? Okay, that was simple enough. However, I'm probably correct in thinking that that was just kind of like the training stage. Okay. Come on, bud. Oh, I guess that works. What? Oh, I thought I was going to be under, un, or on top of it. No. Got to make it all the way over here, bud. Oh, but you need to actually make it over there. All right, come on up there. No. Come on up, bud. Come on. There we go. All right. <laughs> that works. Now we finally made it to our crystal boy, Theo. Theo, I finally found you. I knew you'd make it. It wasn't easy. Are those monsters really coming from inside me? Yeah, and apparently all these strawberries, too. Madeline, that's a valid question. I'll be happy to discuss how the monsters relate to your inner self. But right now, my inner self is real sick of being stuck in this crystal. Oh, right. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll break you out. Ooh, that was pretty neat animation. Well, this is a solid start, but this crystal is like an expression of my negative psychic energy, or whatever. You feeling trapped or something? Yeah, but how do we break it? If I knew why I trapped myself in this thing, maybe I could bust out. But I don't. So sassy, Theo. And I don't think I can get to the bottom of it while we're stuck in this nightmare dimension. I hate to say it, but you might have to... Are we gonna have to play soccer with Theo? Theo, don't even think about that! I am not leaving you behind. Heck no, you better not leave me in this place. I was gonna say you might have to carry me. Oh. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Such a change of pace. Okay, so we can hold Theo. But... <laughs> Dang, girl, you can lift! <laughs> can I throw? Oh, I can. That's pretty neat. Alright. Onward we go. Alright, you got this. But I don't really... Hmm. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go around and open up pathways to carry Theo. Crushing it! That door didn't stand a chance! Uh-oh. I hope you know how to deal with these things. Can I throw uh, Theo at him? That's pretty funny, actually. Alright, actually, I'm just gonna forget about Theo for the moment. I don't know what happens if, um, he gets hit by them, but... Oh man, I wanted to jump on him. I literally jumped into it that time. Lovely. I jumped too early, anticipating the, uh, the slowdown. But I wanted to have it stuck up here. There we go. Oh, what? I totally tried to jump on him. Alright, well, whatever, it's fine. Oh, 
Oh, I tried to duck. Oh, it is pretty neat that the eyes move with Theo and only Theo. Onward we go. Another one? Come on. I don't know what happens if they run into Theo. Can I jump on you? There we go, finally. There we go. No! <laughs> that was not intended. <sighs> I'll, I'll like figure it out, obviously. But it's it's very frustrating how the whole like game kind of slows down whenever they get close to you. Oh, I can throw Theo at them. That's pretty interesting. Makes it particularly tough to time things, in my opinion. Like, I'm just trying to jump on this guy. Right? Like, nothing even all that crazy. Right? It's not like we're performing some, I don't know, crazy tactic or whatever. It's like, I'm just trying to, to jump on him. Oh, I totally forgot to do that this time. Okay, got another one of them. Yet again. No, I jumped into it! I guess we can bring Theo pretty far over there for now. And then deal with this guy in a minute. Now we gotta... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I tried to duck under him. That's pretty good placement of that thing as well. When you think about, like... Ah, I see. Oh, or wait a minute. That's the switch over there, right? See if we can get it to go over there. Come on over, bud. Come on up. Darn. Oh wait, no, I, I get it. I probably just need to um, throw Theo up there. Oh, really? I was fairly certain that would work. Okay, maybe I just have to hit both switches at the same time in order to do that. Let's see. Nope, doesn't seem so. Um, so I really do need to hit that switch. Can I, can I get this thing to destroy it though? Darn. Almost, I think. I don't know if that will even, like, do the trick. I really don't think it will, actually. Which is unfortunate. Oh! But it hit it. And I guess that's all I really needed. Now I'm just showing off. Sorry, Theo, you caught me. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to use Theo to um, break this. Oh, I thought we were just gonna be breaking it, not not sending Theo through the crystal, the red sharp crystals. Interesting. So obviously, it's a little bit more chaotic than the last couple rooms. But, uh, that's okay. 
We can shoot Theo over there, like that. Make use of these moving platforms. That's right, they can go through that. So we can jump and throw Theo on there. Send him up. Send ourselves up too. Run, Theo, run! Or rather, run, Metal, and run with Theo. Okay, it's kind of nice that I can, um, while holding him, kind of crouch to let go without actually, like, throwing him. Oh, but you know what? If I ever do this, yep, he's just gonna come flying back over. Ooh, so I guess that's what happens if Theo dies. Um, hmm. <laughs> I love that like little hop it had after the platform moved to the right. That's pretty funny. Again, I, I still appreciate the level design in this game so much. The fact that they're going through all these different, I guess, rooms to teach you different mechanics involving well this new gameplay mechanic. We have to be close. I can feel it. I'm sure. The question is, close to what? And how in the world are we expected to get there? Okay, we're gonna do that for now. And we're gonna see what's up here. Doesn't seem like anything. It's pretty cool that we can throw Theo through the room before we actually even get through the room. Whoa. Hey. These waves. Don't don't be doing that. Don't be pushing me away. I feel like we're at the end of the level. We will carry Theo. We will make it to the end. Whoa, that eye though. That was really epic. That was super cool. That was a really cool ending. I like that a lot. Chapter complete. Oh, look at Madeline carrying Theo. She's working so hard, putting the team on her back. Oh, love it. Good stuff. Good stuff, Celeste. Oh, I, I, <laughs> you guys can probably hear that. I set down the controller, but the rumble is pretty, pretty ridiculous. So we obviously missed nine strawberries there, and I'm pretty confident I know where quite a few of them are. <sighs> That's got to be my biggest frustration with the game at the moment. One of my very few frustrations, honestly. I've really enjoyed this game a lot. My only thing that I can immediately think of is, is that it's so difficult to... They, they block off backtracking for strawberries so frequently. And we'll see when I replay the game, or like replay a lot of these earlier areas to try to get strawberries whether or not it's going to be as much of a pain as I'm anticipating now to try to get them, because I really do. Uh, but for now, it, it seems like it's going to be a real hassle. So what's the next place? Reflection, chapter six. Seems pretty neat. Did we end up finding the like tape or whatever for this one, the B-side? I don't think we did. Darn, that's a, that's a real bummer. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't find it for the Forsaken City either. Aw. What is that red skull? Is that like quitting or quitting the level or something? I don't know. Regardless, um, that was that was pretty cool. And it's been a little bit of a shorter episode, but I do think we're going to call it here just because it's a good ending point. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I, I am really liking the game quite a bit. I love the themes. I love the design. I love the music, the platforming, the, you know, the way the game teaches you how to play, how to work with new mechanics, how they take a relatively simple physics system, I guess, and they add new mechanics, the moving platforms, Theo as a crystal, or, you know, a variety of different types of, not necessarily enemies, but obstacles or hazards throughout the, the levels, they really force the player to think in new ways, which is really cool. It's a really great puzzle platformer, and if you guys haven't tried it yet, you absolutely should. I actually just learned that there is another chapter that's been coming out, or that's coming out, that's really neat that the game is still being supported by the developers this long after its release, which was quite some time ago. So, 
Anyways, that's enough rambling for me. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. But until then, this is me, Night Zero, and this mission is complete.